Hey, Dana. Hey, we're going to vlog, and this is Altitude. This is my continuation of my study of the FAA's Part 107 course through the federal drone registration teachable.com and I am going through right now the practice tests. I'm on the second second one here and I've already done 60. The second second test is 114 questions. Um, basically it's made up of um, the last one that I did as well as new ones. So I'm kind of, I'm at uh, on the 61, 61st, quite, first, yeah. excuse me, 61st question. And uh, while operating unmanned, a small unmanned aircraft system, or S UAS, come to find out uh, the term UAS is usually for aircraft over 55 pounds um, military in particular um, your S UAS is small so you're talking 55 pounds and under um, and then we're talking 0.55 above so while well, operating small unmanned aircraft a UAS, you experience a flyaway and several people suffer injuries. Which of the following injuries require reporting to the FAA? Uh, A, scrapes and cuts, bandages on site, minor bruises, and injury requiring hospitalization over 48 hours. That's kind of obvious. So, an injury requiring hospitalization over 48 hours. might even have been one of my other videos. Minimum visibility. An observed, observed from a location of the control station requires that the UA operation is one, three, or five. Minimum visibility as being observed from a location of the control station required for a UA operation is one statue miles, two, three statue miles, or five statue miles. Um, I believe it's three statue miles. Yeah, three statue miles. For two figure, 25, area four. A floor of Class B airspace overlying Hicks Airport, or T-67, northwest of Fort Worth Meacham Airfield is. Hey, okay. I'm going to go find my picture here. Figure 25. Come on. Let's go. Catch up. I don't know. Oh, I'm down at 70. I, come on. Let's move. Takes a while to get through the uh, this supplemental. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Not to mention my computer's being slower now. Come on, twenty-three. Figure twenty-three. How are you? Okay, now I gotta 
just spin it. Let's see what we got. I need area four floor of class B airspace only is uh, at the surface 3200 feet MSL 4000 feet MSL okay floor of class B airspace only is let's see Ah, I have a square. I have a square, and I have 32. That's what I was looking for. So, 32 MSL. That's right. Oh, no. It's actually 4,000. Where the heck did that come from? Three, three, three. Am I right? Here we are. I got four. Why is that? Thirty-two. Wow. That caught me off guard. I don't know. Always told you're gonna go by your squares. There's one down here, four thousand over a hundred. Wow, well, that one threw me. I don't even see four thousand, four, four thousand here. Everything's three thousand. 3,032. Right at, right under the Meacham Fort. Oh. Got that one wrong. Okay, on the next. Remember that, 4,000 feet. The weather briefing. That is provided when information request is six or more hours in advance of proposed departure is um, question is six or more out. You have an outlook briefing, forecast briefing, or Pronostic briefing. I think it's pronostic. Oh, uh, outlook. Uh, not getting it. None of that's being said in the in the course either. So it's kind of like you're guessing it. What are the process by which moisture is added and saturated? Supersaturation and that and uh, what is the process by which moisture is added to unsaturated air? Evaporation and sublimation, heating and heating and condensing, supersaturation and evaporation. That's the one I'm going with. Oh, evaporation and sublimation. For the twelve. Wind direction and velocity at so and so. There are 12. Wow, that's three I've missed in a row there. Come on. <laughs>